This is Jared from Yellowwood Guiding and in this first video on photography instruction we're going to talk about the most basic elements and that's exposure. As you should look at your camera, this is a Nikon D300, you have three elements that bring up your exposure. You've got your f-stop, that's the size of the hole like your pupil. You've got your shutter speed, that's how long is the shutter open, and you've got your light meter. And we're going to talk about all three of those together how they work and what brings them together. So looking at your element we have this camera set up on manual mode. I can adjust my f-stop, I can freely adjust my shutter speed and as you make these adjustments one way or the other that changes your light meter right here. Your meter is telling you that at this shutter speed this is how much brighter the image is going to be than 18% gray. A camera meter works off of looking at the world and trying to make it be 18% gray, which is why you don't want to use your camera on automatic. It will only know that it wants to make the world 18% gray. So if I wanted to make the world darker, I can dial it in and manually make the world darker. I can also make it brighter but your camera doesn't know that so you've got to tell it what to do you're smarter than your camera and that's the first thing to remember so looking at these two elements we're gonna look at the shutter speed and how that adjusts your light meter as well as the f-stop so in the next video we're gonna talk about shutter speed okay Jared again from Yellowwood Guiding this is the shutter speed video when you take a look at your shutter speed, what's really important and what's really easy to understand is that speed is how long your shutter is going to be open. That was one fiftieth of a second, not too long. We go back and we set our setting and make it be one thousandth of a second. Very fast. Now you change that again, we can make that be almost an entire second. We can bring this back and we can start adjusting and make it an entire second. So all those changes determine how much light your camera is bringing in. What that influences is your light meter. So if we wanted to make the picture darker we can make it go to the negative side and adjust. So what this all comes down to as we talked about before is 18 percent gray. I have an 18 percent gray sheet going to take a picture and you get a gray picture. What's really great with digital cameras is they show you all your information as well as a histogram. That histogram is going to tell us where is our data. So if we go back and we say I want to make this picture brighter, 18 percent gray, we can make it brighter. At 1 25th of a second you take the picture and your histogram is going to move to the right. The right side is white the left side is black. So our sheet is getting brighter. We go back and say, well, I want to make it even brighter. Let's go up to the next step. Take the picture. It slows down the shutter speed, but our histogram keeps marching to the right and our pictures keep getting brighter. If we wanted to make our pictures darker, we go back and we got to dial in the other direction. Go one step, dial it in and hit the shutter. You can see our histogram now moved way to the left. So reading your histogram can tell you a lot about your picture, what's going on, and the light meter is a great way to use that in manual mode. So your shutter speed determines how much light comes in and then how long is that shutter going to be open determines how bright or dark your picture is. The next element that we want to talk about on your camera is your f-stop. Your f-stop is the size of that hole at the back of your camera lens and how much light is that letting through. The f-stop determines some important factors. That determines your shutter speed because a larger f-stop allows more light in. A smaller f-stop, you can see our light meter goes down to the negative side to get a shot at f20. To make this 18% gray, we'd have to dial it in to get back to zero, we'd have to take it at that shutter speed. The other element of this aspect of the f-stop, or aperture, is determining your depth of field. So we're going to take a look at a camera lens 
And as we adjust, we're going to take a look at how that affects the lens itself. So here, I've set up my Nikon D, uh, pardon me, my Nikon 300mm f4. And the reason I used the f4 is the aperture, the f-stop, f4, allows to get a very big hole. So when you set your f-stop, right before you take the picture, your camera adjusts this setting to determine how big or how small that aperture or f-stop is and how much light is going to be brought in. So, when you look at that, we're going to take a look at some pictures here that as you move through your pictures, if you've got an f4, you're going to have a wide open aperture. There's f4. If you go to the other side of the spectrum at f22, you're going to be down with a little tiny hole and that's going to determine the depth of field. If you have a big f-stop number, like f4, you're going to be able to see just what's close to you, what you just focus on. If you have a very small number, you're going to be able to see a large distance on how much is in focus. So let's take a look at some pictures here. As we just just the f-stop, we're going to keep a consistent exposure so it stays just as bright, but we're going to change that depth of field. So in this video, we're going to talk about how the f-stop affects our pictures, how that changes our depth of field. So as we take a look, I got a picture of a feather set up, and we're going to photograph this feather. And what's really cool, I've got my camera's live view mode on, so we can see exactly what my camera sees. So we're going to start just taking some pictures through our f-stops as we go from f4 to f22. And I'm going to throw up the, the pictures on the, the video so you can see how that depth of field changes and progresses to get deeper and deeper as we move our f-stop number higher and higher. So there's f4. We're going to bump that up to f5. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures here. Let's go to f6.3. We're going to go to f8. I'm shooting in aperture priority mode, so as I adjust my aperture, my shutter speed gets longer and longer to allow that same amount of light to get in. So you're going to keep moving from f10, let's go to f13. f16, f20, and then finally f22. So as we view these pictures from picture to picture to picture, you can see the depth of field gets deeper and deeper and deeper. You can see more of the fibers at the top of the image, up here, and then where it starts off being in focus here. So we're going to slowly make the whole depth of field more and more in focus by changing that f-stop. 